Okay, thank you, sir, for giving me my panel. Uh, this is the GAP project, uh, case studies of Cameroon. Uh, we have chosen some snap of, of the main report to present here. As you can see, during the period of study, uh, Cameroon uh, first phase is a period of economic decline from 1987 to 1992, and the second phase of uh, is a period of post devaluation recovery since 1994. As you can see in the figure, from 1994 to date, there, there is a recovery of uh, economic growth due generally of uh, the implementation by the government of Cameroon of structural adjustment program and the devaluation of the CFA France against uh, French French in 1994. We use in this study two mass uh, data. The first uh, set of data are household surveys, namely Enquête Camerounaise au Près de Ménage of 1996, 2001, and 2007. And the second set of data used in this study are uh, Demographic and Health Survey of 1991, 1998, 2004, and 2011. Uh, the uh, methodology used to come out with the poor with the consumption poverty was to build to, to set up a poverty line using the cost of basic unit method and the, the first and rear tobacco uh, uh, indices to calculate the indices of poverty. Uh, this is the result obtained and the results show that the uh, poverty headcon uh, fell uh, from 1996 to 2001, and from 2001 to 2007, uh, the, the poverty did not change. But uh, what we observe also, there was a reduction in rural, uh, in urban poverty line between 2001 2007, and uh, on the regional level, there was an increase in the poverty in the northern region, that is this part of the, of the country. And you can see here in this, uh, in this table. That's what concerns the monetary poverty. We chose to present here only the result coming from the DHS survey about the non-monetary poverty. And uh, there are many indicators. We have chosen some of the indicators to present here. But for the time being, I'm going to focus only on two indicators, namely education and health. Concerning education, we know that there is improvement improvement everywhere since 1991, much lower in northern region, let to say this part of the, of the country, and poorer school attendance, also lower in north and lower with 20. Now if you come uh, to the health indicator, we observe that the child infant mortality rate have not improved except in 2004 to 2011, and it's very high in northern region, that is say, this part of the Cameroon. If you take malnutrition, you observe only that uh, it wasn't uh, between 1991 to 2004, but started to improve since then. Uh, the other indicators are there, but I think that we have the main uh, picture of what we were trying to, to solve, and in conclusion, I think that during the tenth last year, the U1 poverty was uh, reduced by growth and failed to reduce uh, rural poverty. In terms of DHS, it showed the improvement in many indicators, including education and housing over a longer period, but only recently in health and half The uh, situation was in the north part of the country for most indicators, but progress in non-monetary outcome there uh, too. Uh, there are many other parts of this uh, report who are not, uh, which not presented here because we try to measure, the, to explain uh, uh, the change in poverty uh, using that Aravalion methodology and taking into account the inflation and so on to make the consensus. All the results also are supported by the graphical uh, analysis of uh, dominance uh, analysis is not presented here. And uh, for the moment, 
we do not uh, apply the Y to software for some problem. What we are going to do to the next phase is to use the GAP program, uh, program uh, to calculate uh, the, the regional poverty and then make, compa make comparison with those results and uh, to conclude the report. That's what I can say for the time being. This is the work of the program. I am with uh, Professor Andy and many other collaborators who are Joseph Timno and so on. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.